vez.
passion in the soul leaves us feeling whole and untouchable. Redemption in the eyes of the albatross flying high too close to the sun.
Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome again to the Believe It or Not live quiz. It's me, your host again for this week. It's Jake Love. Thank you so much for joining. We're really excited to be here. Uh, currently, we have two and a half thousand people watching, which is incredible. So um, we're so excited to have you all here. We're so excited to crack into the quiz. Uh, without further ado, I'll introduce you to our quizzes for tonight. Uh, you know I'm from last week. First up, we have uh, our good friend. It's Jonathan Morgan. Jonathan, say hello. Jake Love, it is terrific to be back defending last week's title. Um, I only have 11 shout outs this week, down from last week's 25. Oh my goodness. I need to shout out very quickly the Heatley family and partners watching in Brisbane. I need to shout out my grandma who's watching, Joseph Maine, who turned 30 today, and Susie Cato was back on TV. That's it. Hey, Susie Cato. We love Susie Cato. Shout out. I'll shout out Susie Cato too. And, Good. uh, of course, also from our company here, we've got uh, your other competitor for tonight. Uh, it's Andre. Andre, say hello. Hey, evening, guys. Um, thanks for watching, I guess. Yeah. Anything else to say? or just? <laughs> I, get, I have one shout out. Uh, Georgia wants thing. I don't know if she's watching, but her birthday was a Monday. Um, shout out to her having to celebrate a birthday uh, locked up at home. Shout out to anyone that has a birthday during this thing, actually. Um, sitting all around with your family. Uh, happy birthday from us, anyway. Yeah, Thanks. happy birthday to anyone. And, of course, uh, last but absolutely not least, uh, calling from, I believe, London in the United Kingdom, uh, we have our good friend and uh, giant of competitive quizzing. It's Sean the Dark Destroyer Wallace. Sean, say hello. Good morning, Jake. Good morning, Andre. Good morning, Jonathan. And good morning, everybody. Not only in the UK, but around the world. It's uh, an honour for me to actually be here to take part against two quiz giants. So I've got my work cut out, but uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge. All right. So we're so excited to have you here, Sean. It's uh, you know absolutely. You know, uh, you've, it's an honour, Jake. Thank you. Yeah, you've done a lot of work with our company. We're uh, you know good friends, believe it or not, and Sean Wallace. And uh, it's fun to have you along for another just another quiz, really. No, it's really, really uh, a pleasure for me to be, actually. Uh, you know, I love, uh, believe it or not, Chris. The best uh, Chris company in the world, actually. Oh, 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 that's so nice. That's so sweet. That's so nice. All right. Love Sean Wallace. Well, yeah, well, we love, yeah, we love you, Sean. Uh, all right, I got a <laughs> few quick ground rules to go through. So... If this is your yeah. first first time watching the quiz at home, which for a lot of you it might be, you know, you've, you've come to see Sean in action, uh, take on the, the, the quiz writers themselves. Uh, this is how the format's going to work. There are four rounds. As you can probably see on the screen, your rounds are 2020 so far, world geography, potluck, which is a little bit of everything, and entertainment. You might see movies, TVs, who knows. Uh, if you are competing at home... Uh, you, we unfortunately at the moment don't have a means of marking your scores, seeing everyone's high scores live, uh, but we encourage you to keep count at home, write down your answers, write down your notes, uh, mark which ones you got right, mark which ones you got wrong, and this is actually a really unique chance for all of you at home to actually see how you go against a genuine chaser, which is super exciting. Uh, I'm really excited to see how Andre and Jono go against him as well. Uh, so our quiz is aimed at, at uh, usually pub audiences, so 18-year-olds to, you know, whatever age. But just so you know, it is family-friendly. There's not going to be too much, you know, there's not going to be really any adult-oriented material. So gather around the family, uh, you know, gather around the kids if you want to. Uh, it's a family affair. Uh, we'll be reading your YouTube chat. So if you've got some feedback for us or you want to say hi to Sean or whatever, feel free to post a comment and uh, we might read them out. But please uh, don't abuse the chat. Don't be, you know, don't be trolling or saying anything offensive. And uh, we do have moderators in the chat as well. So uh, you might be getting the boot and you won't be able to catch the rest of it. Now, uh, if you are playing along at home, uh, the one thing that we do say to be careful of in the chat is people might be posting answers to the questions. So just keep an eye out for that. That's all of our ground rules. Uh, and with that, I'm pretty sure we're ready to... Uh, roll into the first round of the quiz. Sean, how, how are you feeling? Are you feeling up to it today? I'm always up for it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do my very, very best. I'm always up for it. I'm a professional quizzer. I'm up against two class quizzes. So uh, I've got my work cut out, but I'm ready for the challenge. All Let's right. Sean and Andre, you, you're both ready? 
Uh, yeah, the chat oh. is already telling us to hurry up. So that's fun. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. I'm enjoying the Jose Mourinho esque mind games from Sean, but I am ready. <laughs> yeah, he's being a little too humble. I don't. I don't believe a word of it. But hey, yeah. it's nice. Learned, learned from one of the ex Chelsea greats there. All right. Well, without further ado, let's move into our first round, which is 2020 so far. So we, these are all going to be questions from the year as it's been so far. What a bit of a wild year, but here we go. Question number one. When the Duchess of Sussex stepped out in this 2,000 pound coat, what company was extremely pleased as it quickly ran out of stock? How are we feeling about that one right off the bat, guys? Yeah, not good, man. I don't know much about coats, <laughs> I gotta say. Coats is not your specialty? No. Right. Not not within my interests. <laughs> Sean, and how how are you on uh fashion? Uh well, as I say, I've got a ripped pair of jeans is about it really. <laughs> <laughs> I am loving this quality, believe it or not, question right here. Yeah, that is that's some that's some quality current affairs, you know, that's the stuff it's the stuff that people care about. This is true. Yeah. Um I uh, I'll just go quick. Quibbing. Quick shout out as well to uh, all of our quiz hosts who join us who uh, can't be hosting their own quizzes. Thanks for coming in and saying hello. All right. uh, If you guys have got your answers down, I'll move on to question number two of our round one. On the 29th of February, it was announced that I was engaged to and expecting a child with whom? All right. We uh we do tend to leave a, leave a little bit of silence for the people at home, Sean, who are maybe playing on Zoom and yeah. they've got their own teammates. But That's then good. after That's about good. ten seconds, you know, you feel free to throw in any barbs or uh, quick jokes or uh, you know uh, just absolutely trash talk Andre and Jono if you uh, feel you've got one up uh, on them. I'm not going to try. Tra- I'm not going to trash talk two quality quizzes. You've got to be joking. I'm not saying no <laughs> Are you joking? We just had a mini quiz. We just had a mini quiz beforehand, and they really put me in my place. So I am not trash talking. I'm here to quiz. I'm hopefully here to win. Wow. Trash talking? Are you I, mad? I, <laughs> I, I said he was Jose Mourinho. He's more like Alex Ferguson with this. This is quite a mind game. <laughs> I feel right. like Kevin Keegan. We'll move on. I'm saying you go back to the fort. No, no, jo- Jono, uh, uh, Kevin Keegan. That remark there. Uh, well, the gloves are off now because basically, basically, you're saying I've lost it. So, <laughs> here comes the trash the talk thick and fast. Okay. All right, moving on to question number three. Known as the Tiger King, I became internet famous recently after starring in a Netflix documentary that, among other things, portrayed my imprisonment for plotting to kill whom? Uh, okay i yeah i've just finished watching this netflix series it is insanity a crazy crazy show if anyone is uh, looking for something to watch while they're in lockdown i can highly recommend it it's it's insane stuff i haven't watched the show um but her name is a meme so there you go right i do know i do know what it is it's a bit of a clue they might the chance <laughs> <I'll> go for <laughs> Guess what, lads? I don't watch Netflix, so I don't. So I'm just, I'm just taking a punt. All right. Well, uh, if you get a chance, Sean, it's it's um, it's about uh, park owners, zoo owners who uh, have big cat sanctuaries in the the US, and it's an absolute insane television show. They're the craziest people okay. you ever see. <laughs> uh, moving on to question number four. The Tokyo Summer Olympics have been rescheduled to begin in what month of 2021? So, of course, obviously, uh, with the ongoing situation, Tokyo has had to postpone their Olympics to the next year. I just want to know the yeah. month that it's going to be in. Uh, yeah. How are you guys feeling about this one, Sean, Andre? You guys are yeah, not too bad. They last held they last held obviously the Tokyo Olympic Games in 1964, so the first time they held the games in the, the Asian continent. So, yeah. okay. 
just just some light flexing there for you guys. George. <laughs> I was going to say my just my, dropping bombs. my tidbit was going to be well, they're in the summer, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Andre. Huh? Yeah, that's a good bit of info to follow Sean's uh, Sean stuff there. I think you both clearly know your stuff. Uh, <laughs> All right, moving on to question number five. This year, January the 1st fell on what day of the week? I can get there. I'm going to have to do a lot of writing. <laughs> yeah, this is just math at this point. This isn't a quiz. Ah, oh, man. Uh, could, I'll get there. You could work it backwards or you could... Yeah, you could, I'm going to yeah. sit here for 10 minutes doing just that. <laughs> well, you don't have 10 minutes. I'll give you, I'll give you maybe 30 seconds. Guess what, guys? You've got one in seven, seven chance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's an Andre style tip there. Actually, yeah, that's good. the odds the odds aren't too bad if you guess it. So, I, I'm going to be honest. I tend to forget what day of the week it even is at the, the moment. But you know, uh, we get in there. All right, should we move on to question number six? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm going to keep working on this one. All right. Question number six. What musical icon recently hosted the iHeart Living Room Concert for America? Uh, clue probably in the title there, but uh, they hosted it from their living room via maybe YouTube Live. I'm not sure about one of those things. Some good questions from Matt Ansley here. Shout out. Yeah. So, uh, some, some great questions, Matty. Yeah. So this quiz was um, uh, written by, I think it was Brendan and Matt worked on this. Brendan, mm. the company founder, and Matt, uh, you know, one of the uh, diligent workers for uh, t- 10 years, believe it or not, I think. Um, I've got a few people saying to please don't put the answers in the chat, guys. A lot of people are yeah, playing. Yeah, please, guys, don't yeah. do that. Honestly, a lot of people are playing along at home, and you've got the the direct ask from uh, Sean Wallace himself to not put the answers in the chat. So, uh, if you are worried about it, yeah, uh, either don't look at the chat, or just know that a lot of those answers will be wrong as well. Um, so you might not even be spoiled, even though you think you are. Yeah, you you know but you yeah. might might read a hint, write it down, and then go, oh, done. I, I thought it was Amy Winehouse, but as somebody suggested, but it's clearly not. Moving on to question number seven. With the competition in limbo, what team currently sits in third place on the English Premier League table? Now, the question is, uh, so, Jono, uh, you, uh, wh- whereabouts is your team sitting on the English Premier League table as it stands? Well, this is fascinating because yeah, Sean and I were talking about this beforehand. But um, God, where are we? Eighth or ninth? Maybe I, they're doing I, very well, actually. I think thank they're you doing very, very much. well at the moment. I think yeah, um, until the four 0 loss to your boys, but yep. Yeah, and and Sean. Well, where... Oh, sorry. No, I'll let you continue. No, no, no I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to say where my boys are because that might give it away. Right, yes. right. So I'm not going to say. Where, I'm not going to say where my boys are sitting. Other than this, come the end of the season, whenever it finishes. We will be playing Champions League football. Okay? <laughs> I, just to, I, just to, I just want to put it out there. Okay? Yeah, for those of you who don't know, which uh, knowing Sean's reputation, I'd be surprised if anyone doesn't know, but Sean is a, a stalwart Chelsea fan, I believe. Oh, Since wait. 1967. Since, Since 1967. 1967. Goodness yeah, me. Since 1967. Yeah. Wow. That's so I'm not a fan. No, no. That's, well, that's... It's like, it's like uh, my dad with Everton, 1969. It goes back a while. Yeah, right. exactly. And the following year, Everton won the league. That's right. So he was there for that and then a bit of nothing. And then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 80s were good. All right. Yeah, the 80s were very good for you, boy. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll keep it moving along to uh, question number eight. This man plays the villain in what 2020 action film? Ooh, uh, and just a, a heads up chat some of the people in uh, in uh, the chat are coming after you after well not after you but after Chelsea somebody said Olivier Giroud would throw a rock at the ground and miss let alone put goals in the net 
dream on, Sean. You told you, you told that person, right? Olivia Giroud is a World Cup winner. There you go. He is. You there you go. That, okay. All right. And he's a World Cup winner playing for my team. You <laughs> there you go, Sam Ashton. Sean says uh, Olivia Giroud World Cup winner. All right, we'll move on to question number nine. Who won Best Supporting Actress at the 2020 Academy Awards, her first win after two previous nominations? Oh, dear. All right, Jono, obviously our resident Oscar buff. Um, She's one of my favorite actresses, yep. All right. Well, there's a clue for you guys. It's an it's a actress. And I don't, what a I don't think it's her, but I'm, I'm going to write it down anyway. Um, I should have got this. Oh, dear. And I'm an Oscar buff as well. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. I can't think. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, dear. All right. We'll give Sean a couple more moments to think on this one. No, See no, if... I'm fine. I'm fine. I've given my answer, so I'm not going to change it. So All right, you've, you've got yeah. your answer. And we'll move on then to question yeah. number 10. Andre, uh, you've been a bit quiet throughout this whole thing. How are you feeling? I'm He's a it. silent assassin. That, 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 that Dre is a silent assassin. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't be fooled by his silence, okay? He might not be chatting because he's right behind the correct answers, okay? <laughs> Don't be fooled. I'm I've, actually... known, I've known Dre 20 years, I agree. That's him. That's very kind of you. I'm actually doing the damn uh, day of the year question for New Year's. I'm still like, <laughs> I've lost my count like three times. It's yeah. been abysmal. Andre hasn't heard any of the last four questions. He's still on number five. <laughs> All right, moving on to uh, the last question of our uh, so far in 2020 round. The United Nations declared 2020 as the international year of what? Nurse and midwife plant health or sound <clears throat> these are some very good questions actually i'm well impressed with these questions yeah brent this is a this is a brendan lockhead special for you sean so yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Cheers, Brent. Brendan and Matt. Yep, this is very good. Yeah. Cheers, so, Brendan and Matt. Yeah. This is this is actually yeah Brendan Matt and myself uh, they did you know ninety five percent of the lifting and then I just did the final tweaks to uh, get it all ready and, <laughs> and polished for the live. Good. While we're waiting, Jason Booten, because uh, I don't think Sean can see this right now, but Jason Booten says, many thanks, Sean, to showing the Kiwis the respect during these times. Loving the banner. Can't wait for a rugby question. I think you might be disappointed on the rugby front, but that's very sweet. Oh, I don't you, know. Jason. I, I can actually uh, uh, I can promise you at least yeah, one rugby question, Jason. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a yeah. subject to be here, honestly. You know, I love, you know I love New Zealand. I've been there twice, and I'm uh, coming back at the end of the year. Good. God forbid. Okay, yeah, we need you back. Yeah. For a certain event, maybe. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> All right, should we'll we move? We'll talk about that after, Let's, let's go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can't, yeah, we can't yeah. make any, uh, can't make any uh, agreements live, but we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. No, no, we can't. No, we'll talk afterwards. <laughs> All right, uh, and I'll move on to the first question of the Ponderous Puzzle, if you boys are ready to take down some clues. Yep. Yeah. Who am I? I have worked as a fashion model for agencies in Milan and Paris. I gave birth for the first and only time in 2006. When I met Pope Francis at the Vatican in 2017, I brought my rosary and asked the Pope to bless it. This man is the current president of the country of my birth. So uh, these guys are going to send me their, their first guesses privately, and I'll, uh, I'll let you know over the, uh, the stream if any of them will get it right in the first round. You at home, uh, if you're scoring yourselves, you'll get uh, write down a guess for every round. You're going to get 10 points if you get it in the first round, 8 points if you get it in the second round, 6 points if you get it in the third round, and 4 points if you get it in the last round. All right, so uh, when you guys are ready, send me send me off your answers, fire them off, and uh, I'll get the scoreboard ready. I can show you what the scoreboard looks like right now. Uh, it's going to look a bit like this. 
with uh, Jonathan on zero, Andre on zero, Sean on zero, but I'm sure it'll be doing some heavy movement this round. I'm going to tell everyone I was tied with the Dark Destroyer at one point. <laughs> that was the, this is the only time I'm going to be level with these guys, actually. <laughs> All right. Um, so, wow. and uh, yeah, Sean, if you just send me that on uh, WhatsApp, and I will uh, check you yeah, yeah. there. All right, moving back to our quiz. Okay. So that's your that's your round one, 2020 so far. I'll just wait for my answers from Jonathan and Andre, and then I will uh, let everyone know how we did, how we're looking. Okay. And uh, shout out to Matthew Connolly as well. Got a big, big Matt Connolly and Rose Mitchell. There you go. Oh, Sean. Uh, so, just uh, for your for the ponderous puzzle here, Sean. Uh, just there's yeah. there's just take a stab because there's uh, there's no penalty for getting it wrong. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Um... Yeah, you can only get it right, and you can't get it wrong. Uh, and then I'll just give you points for the earlier you get it. Okay. I'll just put an answer. And Lucy Mitchell as well. There you go. Uh, Sean, uh, someone in the chat would like to know what you thought about the Expendables trilogy of films. Were they up your alley? Uh, no, I've never seen them. Um, but, um, <laughs> it's just a very yeah, random yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, to ask about. My, 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 my film knowledge, is so everybody can understand, because I'm so busy in terms of... Uh, preparing for quizzes and going to court. My film knowledge is based upon every Tuesday when I get Time Out magazine and I read out what the latest films are. So I read the synopsis in relation to the director, the actors, uh, and the name of the film. I just do not have time to go watch films. Serious man, serious (laughs) quizzer. That's fair. All right. So uh, we'll move into round one, but uh, I can tell you right now, Jonathan, you are... dreamed of telling everyone that at one point you were tied with a, a chaser you are actually um at one point in time ahead of a chaser because jonathan and andre have both got the ponderous puzzle sean is still searching so uh, i imagine the next clue you'll probably get it sean but for now uh jonathan and andre are both sitting on 10 and sean is on zero which i'm sure is about to change as we move into the answers for round one so when the Duchess of Sussex stepped out in the this two thousand pound coat, what company was extremely pleased? Jono, did you have a company for me? Ah, uh, God no! I, I said Givenchy, which is not right. I don't know the answer. You... It's, it's probably a New Zealand company, but I don't know. You're correct in that it is not right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Andre, did you have an answer for me? Man, I, the only clothes company I could think of was like Benetton. So All right. I and went sh- with that. Sean, I said Master Spencer. Marks and Spencers. Ah, well, the answer is Burberry, which uh, the pattern okay. on the coat's a bit of a giveaway, but that's, well, not a giveaway, obviously, but a clue. Clearly. clearly. Yeah, can't <laughs> believe you guys didn't know that. You're all uh, very fashionable men, so. You, would you believe me? Well, I, I, that was my first thought, and I changed my mind, and the reason why I changed my mind is because of the fact that she was uh, she bought a lot of Marks and Spencers clothes, and they just ran out of stock, and that's what uh, threw me. Ah, so interesting. That's, I find it fascinating the way that you work out questions, Sean. It just, you know, it's when you when there's no answer that comes straight to mind, the logic of it is really, it's cool. Yeah, but it's not the right logic, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. <laughs> it's yeah. cool and sometimes incorrect. Uh, moving on to question number two. All right, uh, Sean, I'm going to go with you because I suspect that you got this one. Who did you have uh, as who Carrie Simons, who that was, was engaged to? Well, she's engaged to our current sick leader, who I hope gets well very, very soon. Uh, so I put uh, Boris Johnson. Of course. And Andre, who did you have down? Yeah, I, I guess Boris. I didn't know her name, but I recognized her face. So yeah. Right. And John, Jono? Yeah, that's a round of Boris. It was a big story. All right, of course, yes, a big story. Boris Johnson is, uh, you know, who, uh, you know, we all wish uh, well wishes to as he's recovering from uh, this virus in, in the UK in hospital. All the best to him. 
Sorry to interrupt you, Jackie, but we already have the the chat telling us to go faster. To go faster. This is a huge surprise, but yeah, just pick as, up the pace as per a little usual. bit. All right, let's keep moving. Known as the Tiger King, uh, he was uh, he. They portrayed his imprisonment for plotting to kill. I'll tell you right now, it was Carol Baskin, uh, as he frequently says her name throughout the show. Now, Jono, did you get that right? Yeah, I've never watched it, but Carol Effing Baskin's all I've seen on Twitter <laughs> for the past couple of weeks. So yeah, yeah. Carol Carol Effing Baskin is is correct. There's a lot of expletives that go with that. Andre, did you have her name? Yeah, I got Carol. All right, and Sean. No, I, I, I gave no answer because I've never watched the program, so I didn't give an answer. Right. No, that's fair enough. Well, in the interest of uh, moving on, we'll move on. But again, crazy television show, definitely worth a watch if you're looking for something in lockdown. Uh, question four, the Tokyo Summer Olympics have been rescheduled to July. Jono, what did you have yeah. for me? Yeah, July. Yep. July. Sean, I'm yeah. assuming July as well? I, I, have July the 20, I have July the 23rd, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh There's right. no extra it, points, it, mate. It, 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 it was supposed to start on July the 23rd this year, and they said it was going to be on the exact same day the following year. So I actually wrote July the 23rd. But you don't get extra points for showing off. <laughs> <laughs> I went July as well, Chick. Yeah, yeah, perfect. All right, moving on. Question number five. This year, January first fell on a Wednesday. What? Same as today. Oh, I said Tuesday. Tuesday, Andre. What did you have? I actually got Wednesday. All that math. Uh, all uh, all that math. He's going to get the next five wrong, but this one he nailed. <laughs> yeah, <this laughs> counting backwards, I, I can do. But... And uh, Jono, what did what did you get? No, I got Wednesday as well. Doing the same thing. All right. Wednesday. Moving on. Question number six. What musical icon recently hosted the I Heart Living Room Concert for America? Sean, did you have this one for me? Uh, I said Elton John. You'd be bang on the money with Elton John. Jono, what did you put down? Yeah, Elton John, uh, Oscar winner this year. And yep, uh, in the limelight pretty strongly. Had to cancel his last few concerts here. Not because of COVID-19, but yeah, yeah. Uh, quite sad. Yeah, it cancelled a few concerts in New Zealand, but I saw a few people complaining, saying they, they went along to the concert where he had to step off stage and they were disappointed. And then I looked into it further and I saw that he played about two hours of songs before yeah. he went off, which by yeah. any other artist standard is a pretty long show. Um, but yeah, well, he did that good. And, and Andre, did you have that one right? Quick. I got Elton, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sean, you were going to say? Yeah, quick fact about Elton John. His original name was Reginald. And uh, he used to go by the name Elton Hercules John. Just mm -hmm. before All right. Again, I can't give you points for that, but... <laughs> I know, but I, you know me, I'm a chaser, so I'm not saying you have facts here. Yeah, 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 exactly. All right, question number seven. Oh, well, sorry, it was Elton John. Uh, with the competition in limbo, what team currently sits in third place? Sean, who did you have for me? Um, it could only, well, we're in fourth place, Manchester City in second, Liverpool top, so it can only be Leicester City, I thought. All right, and Jono? In a season I hope gets cancelled so Liverpool don't win the title, uh, Leicester City, who won it more recently than Liverpool, is the answer, <laughs> yes. Or every opportunity to throw in barbs from the Liverpool fan there. And, uh, that on... is cold, John. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Liverpool fans, Andre, what did, <laughs> what did you have? Yeah, I got Leicester. All uh, right. Pretty... Because Sean, yeah, gave away that Chelsea was fourth when we were talking earlier. So I was like, oh. <laughs> well, what a wow, wow. See, see, that guy's smart. <laughs> He's pretty switched on now, Andre. All right, moving on. What? Oh, well, the go Leicester City is, of course, in uh, third place currently. As it, as it stands, who knows? Uh, hopefully they'll get a chance to move forward with it. But if you're Jonathan, maybe not. And this man, Jacob Scipio, uh, plays the villain yeah. in what 2020 action film? Great film. Andre, did you have a did you have a guess for me there? Only one I could think of was Bad Boys Three, uh, but I didn't see it, so it's a total guess. All right, and Jono, did you have a guess for me? Bad Boys for like the only action film to come out this year, I think. So yeah, and Sean. Yeah. Well, because he plays um, uh, Mike Lowry's son huh? uh, in the film, we find out it's Mike Lowry's son. I said Bad Boys Three. You'd all be right. It is uh, Bad Boy. I'll give Bad Boys Three. Bad Boys for Life is the name of the film with uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence returning. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but clearly it sounds like y you guys all have or have, have loved it. So, you know, maybe I should check it out. Yeah, I, I love it. I love the Bad Boys franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, so any Tuesday that you've got spare to, when you're not prepping, you just chuck on Bad Boys? 
Yeah, I've, I actually I've got it on my I've got it on my um my video. Thing, so. <laughs> that's that's Love fantastic. Them. All right, we'll move on. Answer for number nine. Uh, John, I'll let you tell us who this one was because I know you know. The great Laura Dern in Marriage Story. It is, of course, Laura Dern for Marriage Story. Uh, Andre, what did you have down for me? I had Laura. Right, and Sean? I had Laura as well, Laura Dern, yeah. All right, cool. And the last round. The United Nations declared 2020 as the international year of what? It was a bit of a hard one, but you had a one in three right, chance. Can I, can so... I go first for my guess? Yeah, can absolutely, I go first for my Sean. Guess? Yeah, go, go hard. I said plant health. I too went plant health. Wow. I thought nurses were going to be like a, a trick. Right. Because obviously the stuff that's happening right now, everyone's big on nurses. But I, I imagine that's a trick. And plant health sounds dumber than sounds. So I went <laughs> and Jono, what did you write down for me? I fell for the trick and said nurse and midwife. We'll All see. All right. Wow. Well, Sean, with the, with the dominant call of plant health, would be correct. It is the International yep. Year of Plant Health. Uh, which is going to leave the scoreboard uh, since uh, Jonathan and Andre will be looking like they're uh, in a bit of a lead with uh, Andre on 19, Jonathan on 18, and Sean on 7. But Sean will, of course, catch up big points when he gets the ponderous puzzle correct, uh, probably in the next round, I'm thinking. But who knows? I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping. Uh, but yeah, that's how the scoreboard stands at the moment. Andre's taken a lead. Uh, Jonathan's pretty close. And uh, Sean, in actual round scores, uh, you know, is not far behind them. It's a, anyone's game, really, still. As we move into our next round, which is World Geography. And this round is a tough one. I see some 4 out of 10s and 3 out of 10s in the comments. So, uh Good job getting uh, uh, seven and eight and nine, you boys. All right, here we go. World geography, straight into it. With a population of around 92 million, this is the flag of what African nation, once known as Zaire? All right, there's a little bit of space for the people at home who are playing with their quiz teams who, uh, you know, want to uh, give them a shout-out or, uh, you know, figure things out for themselves. Uh, Jono, Sean, Andre, how are you feeling about this one? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it should be fun. It should be fun. <laughs> World geography is always a bit of a – it can get a bit hard. And uh, we'll move on to question – Number two, a few people are saying to keep it going. I'm sorry to everyone who's saying we're a bit slow. We just want to hear so much from Sean because we love talking with him. Yeah, we do only have him once, so we're kind of milking him. But shout out to yeah, uh, cool. shout out to Max Luisetti, who's uh, said the words hurry up, I think, about 50 different times <laughs> in this chat. So shout out to him. And, uh, Max is my only chance to be live on New Zealand uh, uh, live streaming. So, you know. Give me a break, please, kid. <laughs> I, I'm loving all the people saying, don't worry about it. So that's Yeah, nice. quite a few people saying, don't worry about it as well. All right, moving on to question number two. This is the world's longest suspension brid bridge, according to the length of the main span. It is located in what country? Sean, how are you feeling about that one? Um, do you want both countries or the country? No, okay, no, okay, I've got it. I think I've got it. All right. I think, okay. Uh, our, our silent giant, Andre, how are you feeling about it? Are you feeling any good? Uh, I can guess. Well, all you can do is guess. Uh, all right, moving on. I, th I guess we'll move on to uh, question number three of our world geography round. Highlighted here, what is the only triply landlocked U.S. state which lends its name to both a Bruce Springsteen album and a 2013 film that was nominated for six Oscars? Those two clues are wonderful. Very helpful. Yeah, very helpful. It's a, it's a hard one until the clues come in. Beautiful clues. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I think I've got that. Have any of you guys uh, seen that film? I don't want, don't say the name of it, obviously, but did anyone catch it back in 2013? I didn't see it. Um, I love the director's stuff, but I didn't see that film. 
I think I've got I think I've got it from the Bruce Springsteen album. Mm. Right. Mm. One of his one of his best albums, I reckon. And Andre's so quiet. Come to me with that. Come, come to me with that one that, with that question first, okay, Jake? All right. If I remember, I'll, I'll fire it your way when we get to it, and we'll uh, see how you did. Yeah. All right. Moving into question number four. If orange speaks Spanish and green speaks Portuguese, what language does blue speak? Uh, and just, yeah, Stacey K reminding people who are in the chat complaining about it, the length of it. We are aiming to uh, to wrap this up about 9 p.m., so uh, we'll uh, look to be on target for about that, I think. Now, can you can you boys see that all right in your, your streams? You can yeah, see, I can see that. Yeah. Yep. the orange and the green that. and the blue. Perfect. So, yeah, just what? tell me what language do they speak. Moving on to question number five. What country recognizes this as an official national flag variant? Yeah. Yeah, you good on that one? Are you pretty clued in on your flags, Sean? I'm not bad. Vexillology is um, one of my special subjects. Vexillology, obviously, is the study of flags, just in case we like. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> right. Every team's got to have a flag expert. Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty important one to cover. I think they they kind of geography experts, but as long as you uh, get flags in there, you should be fine. Somebody said, "Can you guys slow down?" <laughs> How do you want to slow down now? Uh, I think he's just. Why would we, we go too quick? Go ahead, <laughs> oh, we, we maintain we... the viewers though, so. Yeah, they and, stuck around. Oh, we've even gone up 3,600 people watching. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. That's amazing. Last week we had 1,200, so we've more than doubled this week, which is uh, amazing. I feel like there might be a reason for that. But yeah, question six. <laughs> it's because they loved you and Jono so much last week, I think. That's definitely <laughs> it, yeah. All right, moving on. Question number six. Which of the seven natural wonders of the world is seen here from space? All right, I feel like this should be a get for for all of you all of you guys uh, tonight. I feel like that's a gettable one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got the answers right in front of me, so I'm just looking at them, going, "Yeah, these are all gettable. I I can see the answers, but it's a bit different when you're working it all out, isn't it?" Nikki Morton says. Uh, they're especially enjoying the banter about how there's too much banter. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> we're really getting into it tonight. All right, moving on to question number seven. Four of the seven countries located in Central America are named here. Can you name me any of the three that are not? Just checking that you guys can see all that all right on your screens. Sean and Andre, are you guys there? Have I lost you? Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. Um... yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I just need you to... Uh... Just yeah, name me. Three countries, yeah. Yeah, just any of the three. But if uh, if you get all three of I mean, if you get all three of them, I, one point. <laughs> I again won't give point. you any bonus <laughs> points. <laughs> yeah, one point, Gabe. Still one point. <laughs> all right. Moving on to question number eight. This is the logo of what nation's flag carrier airline? Uh, 
Uh, someone's called uh, Keep It Real has asked, uh, are they Googling answers, lol? Uh, absolutely not. They're not Googling answers. Uh, no, of course my, not. My, if, if we Google answers, we get 10 out of 10. Yeah, they'd be, you know, uh, but no, I can tell you, uh, I was having a conversation. Exactly. Yeah, Sean was telling me, what were you telling me last night, Sean, about uh, the the ethics of, of quizzing? Exactly. The, all the I'd qu- rather get none out of 10 than get 10 out of 10 cheating. There you go. You heard it, you heard it from Sean's mouth himself. He'd rather get nothing than cheat. Uh, if John- it was for money, we'd probably think about it, but... <laughs> Matthew Connolly has just said Jono has Google in his mind. Uh, <laughs> For this round, maybe. <laughs> I hate geography. Pretty good. Yeah, not your strong point, Jono, geography? Not so much, no. Sean, how are you on geography? I'm not bad. I'm struggling with this one here. I'm just trying to work out which right. one it could be. And I know John, uh, Andre's a bit of a, a geography stalwart, but how are you doing? In general or on the question? Uh well, I tell you what, why don't you give us a brief in life in general and then on the, the geography questions? Yeah, let, let's let's slow this down a little bit and just get into <laughs> our personal lives. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, great. All right, I'll move on to question uh, number nine. This is Wolf Creek Crater in Western Australia. It was created by what? And uh, I'll uh, say uh, Casley Bowden and said a quick shout out to Team Han Shot First from the Blacksmith Takanini. Uh, shout out to you guys, Han Shot First. And uh, another one just for you, Sean. Bree Ingram has said in the chat uh, just another day at the office. It certainly is. Thank <laughs> you very much. Cheers, Bree. <clears throat> All right, moving on. We'll move into our last question for our World Geography round. Which of these represents the actual size of New Zealand compared to the UK? Is it A, B, or C? Yeah. You feel you feel you got a bit of a, a good guess on that one, Sean? Once again, one in three um, chance. Yeah, it's a one in three chance. So, um... Educated guesses. Jono, how are you feeling on that one? You're not the, not the strongest uh, at geography? No, uh, educated guess here, yeah. Educated guess. And Andre? I, I know the mind of Brendan, so I'm pretty sure I have it. <laughs> That really is. It's some of it is is knowing the knowing the person who writes the quiz, isn't it? And uh, how, the way they write things. Well, I'm very, very impressed in relation to the questions so far. Very impressed. Yeah, it's been a good good quiz. All right. Well, we will move on to the uh, next clue for the ponderous puzzle for. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, for Sean and for everyone still playing along at home. Again, if you're playing along at home, just write in your guess and then award yourself your points for whenever you get it. Here's uh, clue number two, sorry. I have an older sister and an older half-brother whom I have reportedly never met from my father's previous relationship. I featured in an explicit photo shoot for the January 1996 issue of Max and the January 2000 edition of GQ magazine. English is a second language for me. I became an American citizen in 2006. All right, so Sean's going to send me his answer privately, and everyone else, you can uh, write down your answers at home, and when you uh, see what it is at the end, you can award yourself the points accordingly. And, of course, the boys are going to be sending me their answers privately for the entire round, uh, and we can start getting into some answers and some scores. Mm. No, still haven't got it. Um, I'll just send an answer anyway. Um. So 
turn that on. So. All right, yeah, that's come th come through for me. Uh, all right, let's move into the answers for our world geography round. Uh, I can tell you, Sean, with the ponderous puzzle, uh, you are still looking, unfortunately. So uh, you'll have a good chance next time, I think. Okay. All right, so we'll move straight into the answers for our world geography round. So. Question number one, with a population of around 92 million, this is the flag of what African nation once known as Zaire? Was well, Zaire? I'm not too sure how to pronounce Zaire. that. Zaire. Yeah, Zaire, that's right. Zaire. Changed his name in 1997. Oh, yeah. That's right. Shouldn't have second guessed myself. 1991. What was that, sorry, Sean? I think it was known as Zaire from 1971 to 1997. All right. By President Mobutu. The awful Mobuto. This is a quiz classic, this question. I mean, we all know the answer, I would say. Sean definitely does. I know Andre does. All right. Well, if you all know the answer, I'm yeah. assuming that you all have the Democratic yes. Republic of the Congo. Jonathan, Andre, Sean? Yes, uh, that's right. Yeah, I said DRC. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'll accept DRC. Zaire, of course, where the Rumble in the Jungle was held. There you go. Ah, interesting. That's, right. mm. that's quite right. On the yeah. 1st of October, 1974. <laughs> I, I mean, yes, I think you let that again. The rope dope, yep. I've got these boys competing for bonus points. Sorry, that I think I'm... it's the 30th of October, 1974. I think it's the 30th of October. Beautiful. <laughs> competing for bonus points that I absolutely will not be giving. There's no bonus points for this quiz, you know. There's just so many information, that's all. But, uh, you know, I'm sure everyone in, in uh, watching at home is impressed with how much you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. The world's longest suspension bridge. Uh, I'll go to Andre. Did you know? Did you think you knew the answer to this one? What did you have written down? I imagine it's wrong because suspension bridge is probably important. I had China, which I think has the longest bridge. But all right, and Jono, what did you have written down? Despite doing that round one bridges in a Beyond quiz a few months ago, <laughs> uh, I said I said France, but I France. I doubt that's right. And that wouldn't be right. Sean, what did you have down for me? Well, I thought it was, um, I said Sweden. I thought it was a bridge between Denmark and Sweden, so I said Sweden. All right. Well, I can tell you guys that it's actually in Japan. It's the oh. Akashi Kaikyo Bridge, which has a main span of 1,991 meters. So uh, it takes okay. you from uh, uh, Kobe to, I think I have it written down here. I don't, but it takes you, uh, yeah, it's in Kobe. That's where you just were. Yeah, I was that. just in Japan. Uh, it was pretty full on. <laughs> just <laughs> got back. Like, just got back a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it was a bit dicey, but we're home safe now. Yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, moving into answer number three. Highlighted here, right, Sean. I that, I, right. I said Nebraska. Yeah, absolutely you did, and it's absolutely correct. Of course it is Nebraska that's the... That's the uh, Bruce Springsteen album and the film Nebraska yeah. and, of course, the state. Yeah. Uh, Jono, what did you have? Yeah, Bruce Springsteen's 1982 album, one of his best, Nebraska. Yep. And Andre? Yes. All right. Sorry, just to the chat, people may not uh, figure this out. The reason he has to ask us the, what answers we got is that's how he's doing the count. He's so busy doing the hosting streaming part of it that he won't know what the heck our score is. Now, you might say that you don't care what our score is, uh, to which I don't really have a rebuttal otherwise, <laughs> other than, you know, don't watch. Yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly that. I'm I'm running on two monitors already, and I've got updating the scores on one. I'm running the quiz on the other, and I got these boys in another chat window somewhere as well. So, uh, you know, we're we're doing what we can here from our homes, from our living rooms, to put out a little bit of fun and entertainment for everyone. So I hope we're doing doing an okay job. I'm sure we are, guys. We yeah. definitely are. Oh, I'm having fun regardless. So. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Moving on. Question number four. Uh, if orange speaks Spanish and green speaks Portuguese, what language does blue speak? Uh, I'll go to you again, Sean. Well, I think that's the only country in South America where they speak English, because I think that's Guyana, so I said English. All right, and Jono, what did you have? I said French just at a guess. All right, and Andre? Yeah, I assumed it was French Guyana as well, but the print that might have been one of purple or red, so... 
All right. It is uh, French Guiana, and their their language is French. Yeah. Uh, but I'm I'm willing to be wrong, Sean, because you seem pretty convinced that. No, uh, no, 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 no. Because when you think about it, uh, I think Guyana is more um, towards the east of the coast. So no, that's fine. That's, right, right. Listen, you can't argue with the and, yeah, uh, French Guiana, but French Guiana. Right. So Sean, you had English. Jono, you had English again. French. 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 And sorry, yeah. and Andre, you had. Yeah, I got French as well. All right, so it is French. Moving on. What country recognizes this as an official national flag variant? Sean? I said Poland. I can tell you it absolutely is Poland. It's their official variant. Uh, Jono, what did you have? I said Albania. I fell into that trap. Ah, but yeah, the Polish colors, isn't it? So the, the trap of the eagle. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's. Andre, did you have? It's Poland? understandable, John, because uh, because Albania has. I think Albania has a double eagle head. Mm, mm. I think, um, it's a double eagle. Yeah, I mean, half of right. Eastern Europe is just rocking eagles. But yeah, I went Poland because the rest of the flag was just, just Poland. Yeah, so. it's it's the exactly that the Polish flag with the uh, the eagles on it. All right. I don't know what's happening in chat, but it appears that Ellen Cameron deserves a shout out. I'm not sure what she did. Uh, sh- All right, shout out to Ellen Cameron. <laughs> I think we have our first meme. It's just people. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. Somebody's dab- dabbing with a shout out to Ellen Cameron. It's great. Oh, that's the scores. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's the wrong screen there. All uh, right. Spoilers. Uh, which of the seven natural wonders of the world is seen here from space, Jonathan? Uh, I said the Great Barrier Reef. I have no idea. All right. And Andre? It's the only one I could think of, too. And Sean? I said the Great Barrier Reef. Good. You'd all be correct. It is, of course, the Great Barrier Reef. <sighs> good, good effort there from everyone. All right. And four of the seven countries located in Central America are named here. Name any of the three that are not. Uh, I'm going to go to Andre for this one. Oh, I'll, no, you go away, Sean. Take it away. Well, I can't see. I can't see either El Salvador, Panama, or Belize. That's what I said. All right. Uh, yeah. Sorry, it's... I can't see Panama. I, I said. I said El Salvador was one, definitely in Belize. Yep. And Andre. So I can, I can... Oh, sorry. I, I blanked hard. I went like Honduras, but I, that might even be South America. I don't even know anymore. And Jono? I said Honduras as well. Couldn't see it. All right. Sorry, were you were you saying something about there at the end, Sean? I, I cut you off. Yeah, no, no, because I've just seen Panama, actually, but uh, I, I couldn't see Salvador or Belize. All right. Well, I am going to give uh, points all around because the answers are Belize, El Salvador, and Honduras. So... Jono and Andre coming in with Honduras, and Sean coming in with the rest. Yeah, I was hoping Panama wouldn't be there, because that was my first one, but it was just there, yeah. So I had to say Honduras. All right. Moving on to question number eight. This is the logo of what nation's flag carrier airline? We'll go to uh, Andre. Right. Oh. Should I go first? Yeah, yeah, go for it, Sean. Well, uh, I, I, I just said Zambia. All right, Zambia and Jonathan. I said Qatar because I've seen this before because of writing the quizzes. Ah, That's the advantage. so a little advantage where some of the questions pop up a little bit uh, every once in a while. We sort of Brendan sends around the articles and we all read the same yep. things. So, yep. all right. Uh, well, it might not be correct, but uh, Andre. I went South Africa because it was a total guess. All right. Well. Uh, Jono is of course correct. It's Qatar. The Qatar Airways has the the RAM on it there. Uh, but you know, good effort from everyone all around. That's uh, from writing day in day out. That's the reason. Yeah, I got that. you know, we writing them Monday to Friday. Every once in a while, some of these you've you've seen before. It happens. Yep. All right. Question number nine. This is Wolf Creek Crater in Western Australia. It was created by a what? I said meteorite. A meteorite? Jonathan? I said the same thing. All right, and Andre? Yeah, I figured it had to be the volcano or meteor, but I went meteor too. All right, you would all be correct. It is a meteorite, which has a brief description there. I'm sure we all have a vague idea of what a meteorite is. 
Uh, but yeah, you know yeah, me. A, a meteor when it hits the Earth, it becomes a meteorite. Yeah, that was a. a surface. Yeah, that was what, an, what I did think was an interesting tidbit. It's uh, yeah, any comet, asteroid, or meteoroid debris once it hits Earth. So yeah, Sean's on on the play there. All right, and the last question from our world geography round. Which of these rec represents the actual size of New Zealand compared to the UK? Is it A, B, or C? I'll throw to Jono for the last of this round. I said C, agreeing with Andre that it would be that kind of a question. Right, a, a Brendan, Brendan, Brendan special. Yeah, I went with C. Alan Boswell points out a meteor is not a meteorite, and that's oh. very fair in a quiz setting, but I don't think we're being that harsh. Yeah, I actually, you're right. Uh, I do have in my notes here, except meteor, but technically a meteor is not a meteorite. Uh, yeah. And Sean, which of the A, B, or C did you have down for me? Well, the reason I went for C is because I discounted uh, the island of Ireland, which is not part of the UK. You thought we were throwing a bit of a curveball at you there? Yeah, because uh, Ireland is not part of the UK. Um, right. So I took that out, and I thought, I, I thought it could only be C. Well, you would all be correct. It is, of course, C. This is about the relative size, I think, uh, in this photo here. It shows how big it is yeah. in comparisons. So pretty... because, because as you can see, as you can see from the map you've got there, the United Kingdom consists of uh, uh, England, Wales, uh, Scotland. Is it? Is it? So North... I took out. I took. Is it Northern Ireland Great as well? Britain include, I thought Great Britain includes... So the United Kingdom includes Northern Ireland. Right. Great Britain does not. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So, but I took, out, I took out the whole island of Ireland out of the equation. Right, yeah, yeah which led you to the, the biggest one. Well, you, you'd all yeah. be correct. Um, yeah, that's one of our most contested uh, things when we're in pub quiz settings, eh, Jono? Uh, people talking about... The United Kingdom versus Great Britain. Versus oh, it's the most controversial thing we have. Britain versus England versus. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we get a lot of uh, a lot of people writing in about that all the time. All right. Uh, so I can show you guys at home that uh, Sean's still looking for the ponderous puzzle, which is going to put the scoreboard. Like this, Andre's in the lead with 27. Jono is uh, chasing very close with 26. And Sean is uh, lagging a bit behind on 14, but he's still got that those ponderous puzzle points to catch him right up into the thick of it. Uh, I think we'll have a real, uh, a real fair game on our hands here. No, I agree. And I think, yeah, this may take until quarter past nine, 9.30, but it won't be much later than that. So it's a little bit longer, but because we have a chaser with us this week, it's a big deal. Yeah. And all right. So, um, yeah, and absolutely. We, it's, things are going a bit slow today, but that's because we want to stop and talk to Sean when we can, you know, while we've got him. All right. Uh, list. Time yeah, for let's, the list. let's move into the list. Uh, with the list, we'll show you guys the list and then... Uh, We'll take a five-minute break. I'm going to play some music and stuff like that for everyone because uh, we asked for some music last week, and then you'll have uh, about five minutes. We'll probably kick off at about 8.35 again so everyone can grab another drink and uh, go to the bathroom if they need to, and uh, you guys can send me your list answers, and then we'll see what everyone gets. So the list for tonight is... Oh. Elements on the periodic table whose name and chemical symbol start with a different letter. Okay. So good list. Yeah, the the trick is to just name as many as you can. I can tell you guys there are uh, ten pos ten just ten potential answers for this one. So if you want full marks, you got to get all of them right. So ten possible points. List as many as you can for me. Uh, I'm gonna play some music. Everyone can take a take a moment to go to the bathroom, grab another drink. You know. Uh, do whatever you need to do, and we'll be back in a few minutes with uh, more Sean, more questions, and uh, some answers to the list. So see you guys in a bit. Yeah. In the soul Leaves us feeling whole and untouchable Redemption in the 
Hello, and we are back with uh, Sean, Andre, and Jonathan. Oh, Sean, oh, sorry, Sean. Hey, how's it going? We are uh, we are back live. Uh, how how'd you guys Good. go on that list? That's fine. I, I sent in ten. Yeah. Well, I can tell you right now. Uh, these are the answers for the list. It was elements on the periodic table whose name and chemical symbol start with a different letter are sodium, potassium, iron, silver, tin, antimony. Tungsten, gold, mercury, and lead. Now, uh, so, uh, going through the answers for the boys, I believe, Jono, you got about uh, seven of those, I think? I got seven, yeah. So I should have remembered silver, obviously. Uh, Antimony wasn't really going to happen. And the other one was mercury, but otherwise, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's, there are some real old favorites in there, gold, AU, potassium, K, but yeah. Yeah, and Andre, you put in a, a pretty, uh, pretty good effort at six. Yeah, I forgot some biggies, and I feel dumb, but hey. That's okay, it, ha it all. happened. I'll tell oh, you. Yeah, you feel dumb, oh please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I forgot, like, uh, bloody iron. Like, that's, come on now. All right, well, uh, I can tell you boys, uh, uh, you know, coming in strong as he, uh, as he loves to do. Sean got the whole bag. Sean's got 10. Mm. Sean got all 10 of those. Which it's coming I, back. I was pretty impressed with this. It's going to leave the scoreboard at the end of half time, essentially looking like this. Andre and Jono are tied on 33, and Sean is closing the gap on 24. He's still got those big ponderous puzzle points to get as well. So well, yeah. Once sure. he gets that, it's all on. Yeah, just like last time, these two boys are tied. You know, they really give each other a run for the run for each other's money, really. Well, they're very, very good. They're very, very yeah. good. Really we good. are one and the same. Well, you know what? I'm pleased that I've got 10 out of 10 for my uh, chemistry. Um, the first, you know what? The first one came to me? Antimony. That's Stibnite. That's the <laughs> old name, Stibnite. I'm uh, sure. And, uh, Just like this. Calcium. Uh, sodium's natrium. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, iron's ferrum, uh, ferrous, or fer yeah, ferrous. Uh, and uh, uh, um, tungsten is wolfram. A to be wolfram. 
that was his whole name. Oh, man. So just like the rest of New Zealand I'm at home, I'm sure, uh, the first one Sean got was Antimony, <laughs> which, <laughs> Jono, Andre, were you anywhere close so to much. getting Antimony? Not, not on my list, I guess. All say. right. <laughs> it's pretty I, impressive. I think, that's element number, I think that's element number 51. I think it is, yeah. Element number 51. Sheesh. I'm assuming you, uh, you've got your periodic table pretty well down, Sean. No, I, 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 used, I used to love science at school and chemistry in particular. Uh, and obviously, you know, when I do revision, um, you've got to actually make sure that you're up to date with your sort of chemical elements. I mean, the, the most recent one is Organtum, Organtum 118. So just got to keep them going. Wow. And, and that is a noble gas. That's a, a noble gas which is created. So things like that, you, we've just got to do it. Goodness yeah. me. That's the that's the stuff you got to know. Eh? All right. Well, should we move into the next yeah. round of the quiz? Yeah, it's uh, let's do so, guys. Let's do so. All right. Well, round three is potluck, so it's a bit of a anything goes uh, round, really, isn't it? <laughs> potluck. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Well, here we go. Question number one: These logos appear on the high performance models of what luxury car brand? So that's the uh, the RS and the S appear on uh, models of what luxury car brand? Andre? Got an idea? Not a car guy. Not even a little bit. Not so a car guy? Will be a guess. Sean, are you a car guy? Uh, I'm not really. Uh, not really. Uh, really. I love a guess. But, uh, yeah. Right. And Jono, I've seen you drive your, uh, your beat-up Nissan Primera. I'm assuming you're a big car guy. <laughs> that says it all. Uh, having a think. I'm having a think. No worries. All right, well, we'll move on to question number two while you guys are having to think about that first one. This species of fish is a giant what? Now, uh, Sean, Brendan's asked me to point out here that, of course, you're going to recognize uh, who's holding the fish there. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was wicked. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you would have spent some time with him when you were over here, right? Absolutely. He's a lovely young man. One day he's going to play for New Zealand cricket. Team. He's going to be that good. Oh, you he's got the stock. Yeah, he's of the right of the right of the right blood, isn't he? Exactly. Exactly. Did you did you go out fishing with with them at all? The the Lockhead family? No, I didn't have time because obviously um, Brendan and I were on a sort of whistle stop tour around all the cities in New Zealand. So it was an right. opportunity for me to actually meet people, as opposed to sort of leisure activities like uh, fishing. So I was here to meet people, not to fish. So. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sure loads of people will remember meeting you. I, I'm pretty sure you met every single person and shook their hands at our, at the, the Nationals uh, quiz. All right, yeah. should, we, should we move into question number three? Yeah. All right. Question number three, and a, it's a rugby question for those who have been asking. Australia have beaten the All Blacks the most, having won 44 times against them. South Africa are next on the list, having won 36 times. I want to know what team is third on that list. I guess one or two. Yeah, I'm going to say them. Yep. Yeah. Cool. I was about to give a shout out to the person who wrote so many silly people in this chat, but then I read the name and couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's a name you can't say out loud. But Yeah. It's, um, yeah, for those of you who are saying the chat's getting a bit crazy we do have moderators going through as fast as they can but there's a there's a lot of people uh a lot of people commenting we're, we're trying to get it all sorted so it stays uh, family friendly and uh you know we're doing the best we can with uh, within our means we're incredibly touched to have 2500 more people watching and yeah i uh, hope you're all doing well at home thank yeah, you so much nearing 4000 people which is amazing so um that's yeah, fantastic that's yeah. really really good All right, so moving on. Question number four. This famous photo was taken during the construction of what building? One of the great images. Yeah, oh, it really is. Second. Yeah, it's terrific. Great photo. Are you... Are you feeling good about that one, Jono? Pretty good. Pretty good. Andre? Yeah, mate. And Sean? 
I've seen that photo before. I can't. It's either one, it's one or two. All right, one or two. Yeah. That's a. I'll give you fifty-fifty odds on that one, which is pretty good. Yeah. All right, moving on to question number five. What B is the name of this 2018 memoir? So Michelle Obama's memoir there, obviously. Uh, and I want to know what B is the name of it. Has, have any of you guys read that book? Yes. You have? How was it? Yeah, very, very, very good. Very the reason good. why I read it is because I was a bit disappointed that she uh, published her autobiography the same year I did. <laughs> same month as well. Can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> timing for you. Thank, thank, thanks, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> did she uh, beat you out of the New York Times bestseller list or just, <laughs> just by a margin? No, I was straight into the top 2,000. <laughs> Wow. I mean, top 2,000. Yeah. That's coming from the when I think. All right. Should we move on to question number six? Only the vowels remain. What company's logo is this? <laughs> so quick on the typing there, John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thanking Mr. Hendrix, 17. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on from that one pretty quickly because I feel like that's a bit of a that's that's fairly gettable. Uh, we'll move into question number seven. Who is seen here working at a nursery in a famous photo? Uh, Mr. Battlefield, the round was potluck, by the way. I know you missed it. Yeah, for those of you asking, yeah, this is uh, round three of four. It's potluck. Uh, and we're going to move through it uh, fairly quickly. But of course, uh, you know, we're all relishing the time we have with Sean. Might have to go up against him again, though. We'll see. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'd, we'd... Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Absolutely. We'll be, we'll be <laughs> having you back, I'm, I'm sure, now that we've got all the systems in place as well to get you, get you through on it. All right, should we move on to question number eight, which is, what is the one ingredient that must be must be present at the start of the brewing process when creating beer? Now, Brendan tells me, Sean, that this is a bit of a um, question that he's thrown in just for you, so he's, he's hoping that you'll be able to get the answer right. I'm hoping so, even though he knows that I don't drink. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, moving on. Question number nine. This is the currency of what board game? Andre, Jono, feeling odds on that one? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Sean. Nah. Uh, I think so. Do you play? Uh, do you play a lot of board games in UK, or not a lot of time for it? Uh, Scrabble, Scrabble, Scrabble's my board game. I'm oh. sure, or are you, yeah, I love Scrabble. I'm not saying I'm very good at it, but I love playing Scrabble. We've got the world champ here. Uh, yeah, New Zealander. Yeah. Is, is he okay? Or she? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, um... can't remember his name. I'll see if I can pull up his name for you uh, while we move on to this next question. So question number okay. 10 is going to be, in 1932, Bunny Austin was the first international male tennis player to do what at Wimbledon? Fail a drug test, use an aluminum racket, or wear shorts? All right, and I can tell Hello? you, I can tell you, Sean, the guy, uh, the guy's name is Nigel Richards, who's uh, you, the Scrabble okay. world champ, uh, Kiwi okay. guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you got a one in three chance on this last question, really, uh, which is pretty good odds, again. Yeah. And um, all uh, right. I think I, I think I know the answer to that one. That's good. And I'll um, I'll give you the last, uh, sorry, second to last clue on the ponderous puzzle. Yeah. 
So this is for Sean and those who are still playing at home. I met my future husband in 1998 when he was in the process of divorcing his second wife. We were engaged in 2004 and married in 2005 where Billy Joel serenaded the crowd with Just the Way You Are at the reception. Our wedding guests included Simon Cowell, Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, Heidi Klum, Star Jones, P. Diddy, Shaquille O'Neal, and Barbara Walters, among many others. To some, I have become a fashion icon, and I work closely with designer Hervé Pierre. And now I'll, um, I'll get you to send me your answer, and I'll get the answer from these boys in our chat, and then we'll go through to the answers in uh, pretty quick. We'll try and make up some time. Mm. But thank you to the 3800 sticking around. And yeah, it should be 20 more minutes, I'd say. Yeah, 20. We'll, 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 we'll slam through it and we'll have a bit of a chat with Sean at the end and then we'll uh, say our farewells. But yeah, um, we still got a, a whole round of answers and another round of quizzing to go before we do that. Yep. So, um, yeah, have you, guys, have you guys locked in some answers for me? Yep, sent them in. Jono's locked them in. Andre? I'm trying to remember what some questions were, actually. <laughs> I was so busy following the chat that I missed it up. Oh, you weren't hey. taking notes? I was, but but the chat is crazy, my man. It's, like, yeah. even with moderators were. Yeah, 4,003, 4, 3,800 people all going off. It's going to be a bit of bit of work. We might have to see if we can get some, uh, some of our quiz hosts in next week if we get similar numbers to check on things. Uh, and Just Sean, some bounces. Thank Should've you for you. our volunteers currently, though. Um, I yeah. think probably a lot of the viewers are from the New Zealand Herald. Uh, shout out to them. Obviously, we work with them on their quiz. Uh, but I think they've also linked to our quiz on their website. So thank you for that, New Zealand Herald. And thank you for anyone who's watching because they found us there. Yeah. All right. Uh, and Sean, have you sent me through an answer? Yeah. Uh, I've, I've got your ponderous puzzle answer. That's all right. Uh, yeah, all right, well, should we move into some answers? I think I've got uh, you boys all written down for answers here, so we'll go straight yeah. into it. Round three, potluck. These logos appear on Audi's, the Audi uh, S and the RS models. Jono, what, I think you had Audi down, did you? I said Audi. Yeah, and yeah was, that, was, Audi. That a, was that a guess from you? That was a guess. Hey, look at you go. And Andre? Uh, didn't even put down a guess, to be honest with you. Ah, just let that one fly. Still good. And Sean, what did what did you have down for me on that one? I went for another German model. I said Mercedes. Oh, Mercedes. Ah, you got the country right, which is you know, yeah, but, uh, no yeah. points, but a, a decent right. try. All right, moving on. Question number two. This species of fish is a giant. What? Sean, did you have that one? I said tuna. Giant tuna, Andre? Uh, well, snapper, I guessed, but I don't know. All right, and Jono? I said snapper, but yeah, I don't know fish. Don't know fish. It's a giant trevally, otherwise known as oh, a GT. Of course, which, of course uh, it's a giant GT. Yeah, a giant GT, the, the classic New Zealand. Well, I'm pretty sure it's a classic New Zealand fish, probably a, New Ze a fish all over the world. But uh, no points, uh, but great efforts. Uh, moving on. Australia have beaten the All Blacks the most. Uh, what team has beaten them the third most? Sean, you're a big All Blacks fan, I think. I I am. I I, I it was a choice of two. Uh, oh yeah. And I I plump, I plump for England. I think England have beaten thirteen times. The first time was 1936 when they beaten 13-0 when Alexander Obolensky scored two tries. So I went for England. Off the back of some uh, serious knowledge, he's gone for England. Jono, did you did you have a guess for this one? And yeah, the most recent time they beat us was, of course, uh, in the World Cup last year. Yeah, I said England as well. Um, France have beaten us in memorable moments, but I think England have beaten us more. All right. And Andre, what did you have down? Well, I well, hopefully I don't feel dumb in a second, but I went France just because they used to kick our butts in the World Cup all the time. So I imagine... That's like half our losses right there. So I went France. Well, you're not going to look dumb because you are absolutely correct. It is France. Oh, God, him. Wow. Uh, yeah, we've uh, lost to France 12 times, England uh, 8. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm impressed. England would be next, though, on that list. Absolutely. But, yeah, I'm, yeah I think you're right, Andre. A, a lot of World Cup losses to France, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, too many. 
let's right. let's not go into that. <laughs> we don't need to get into that depressing detail uh this far into the quiz moving on this famous photo titled lunch atop a skyscraper skyscraper uh was taken during the construction of what building uh sean you said you were down to 50 50 which one did you end up going for empire state building empire state building and andre yeah i imagine we all did on that one and Jono. no i knowing it's 50 50 i went for somewhere i've been i've never been to the empire state building but i've been to the rock and i think it's at 30 rock once again, uh, Jono is going to be correct there with the, uh, the oh, Rockefeller Center as the, the famous building where that photo is taken. So I went there with Jason Mitchell and Ian Ferguson, shout out. And it, yeah, that picture is all over the top of the rock. Yeah, so that's, yeah. very famous photo. I've, I've been there as well, actually. It's a cool, cool building to visit. But yeah, it really was a bit of a, a 50-50 chance knowing that it's sort of a New York building. All right. Yeah, I knew it was New York, but I didn't know which one it was. Yeah. yeah. Should we move on? Question number five. What yeah. B is the name of this 2018 memoir? Uh, Sean, you'd read it. What did you have down for me? Be- Becoming. Becoming. Andre? I, I didn't put anything down. My guess was being, but... Or, right. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Being's pretty... The man's read the book, so I figured yeah. you can probably head on to the <laughs> Yeah, it is, of course... Becoming, becoming Michelle Obama. Jono, what did what did you have for that? I had becoming as well. Yeah, right. big book. Yeah, huge book. Really, really did well. Yeah, massive book. Yeah. Plug the man. By the way, <laughs> plug, plug, plug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on to question number six. Only the vowels remain. What company is it? Uh, Sean, did you have this one? No, I didn't actually. No. Nope. No guess. Andre. No. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut and Jonathan. Yep, the hut. Yeah, it is, of course, Pizza Hut. There's their logo there. Just the, the I, the A, and the U. I could go for a Pizza Hut pretty soon, I think, when the, when all this uh, opens up again. I'm with you on that. Could use a McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, K- KFC and Sal's have been my two big ones, actually, while we've been uh, locked down that, I'm, that I've been missing. All right, moving on. Uh, question number seven. Who was seen here working at a nursery in a famous photo? Uh, Andre, did you have this one? No, this is one of the ones I missed from Chad, unfortunately. Oh, that's so I don't right. even have a guess yeah, for right. that. Sean? Yeah, that's, that's Princess Diana, Lady Diana, before she got married. Right, and Andre? Uh, sorry, Jonna? Yeah, it has to be Princess Di. It is, of course, uh, yeah. Princess Diana, Lady Diana, which was uh, a photo taken when you announced she was dating Prince Charles. I was reading an interesting tidbit about this, uh, the, the guy who took this photo and uh, a paparazzi where apparently all he found out was that her name was Lady Diana and she worked at a nursery and he drove to just nurseries all over asking if they had a Lady Diana working there uh, to see if he could take a photo when he heard the rumor. And I think he found it on his like fifth fifth place that he checked which is not bad okay. not bad going she, she was born on the 1st of July 1961 the same <laughs> day as Carl Lewis oh, oh. The same day. that's interesting that is actually a good get like yeah that. that's a really interesting little stat alright well we'll move into question number 8 what is the one ingredient that must be present it is malt malt must be present uh, and uh, Sean Brendan's written in the notes here that he actually took this photo. Yeah, well, when... The reason why I had to get this, the reason why I had to get this, is because <laughs> Brendan took me to a uh, bit, uh, um, a malt company. Uh, it's a company which actually uh, processes it. And I, I remember seeing the picture. And if I'd have got that wrong, I think he would have sorted me. <laughs> He'd be messaging you on well, on saying what happened. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he would have said to me, Sean. Do not come back to New Zealand. I don't care if you don't drink. Don't come back to New Zealand. <laughs> Jono, did you have that one? Did you have malt? Nah, I said water despite drinking a few beers during this. <laughs> I, uh, I said the water. Yeah, I said water too. I might get a fact check on this later because um, I feel like you got to have some water in there somewhere. I don't know. Well, I assume yeah. it'll be a trick question of some kind. You, you know what? To be honest, I think they should have that because you, you, you can't make beer without water. 
Yeah, whereas you can use multiple kinds of grain, right? So yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I was doing I was I was doing some reading on about this. You actually do have a good point with water, but um, malt is it, it's pretty tricky to make it without malt. Like it's kind of is the grain used, um, unless you're going into like gluten free beers and stuff, which you know uh, are we considering those? But yeah, uh, but I've, ne- I've never drunk beer without it being a liquid party. So. <laughs> yeah well all right if anybody, uh, has, if, if anybody has can you please send me the answer please? <laughs> well, never known that. bread beer bread all right well i'll um i'll give points to andre and jono for water then uh yeah, they're good to get out. all right and this is the currency of what board game it's the game of life uh you can see the spinner on the money there uh jono did you get that one no i uh got too excited <laughs> you did a little. Oh, I, was gonna, no. I was originally going to say this is surely a trick question, but then I figured someone might be dumb enough to actually. <laughs> well, I, Elford, I went with yeah, the I'm glad. I'm so excited. And, uh, did you, no, did you go with Monopoly, did you? Of course I did. Oh. I, I, I did as well. I've never played a game of life. I've never seen the game of life. So do you know how can see? Oh, Get right. lucky in the game of life. And I'm assuming, Andre, that you got that one correct for me. Yes. Yes. All right. And the last one of that round was uh, Bunny Austin was the first to do what at Wimbledon? Yeah. Fail a drug test, use an aluminum racket, or wear shorts, Sean? Yeah. He definitely was the first person to wear shorts. All right. You, you're correct. It is wear shorts. Uh, Jono, Andre, did either of you get that one right? Yep. I, I, said get, wear I shorts. Guess, yeah. All yeah. right. Both of you. Failed drug testing was kind of funny because what, what drugs would they be testing for back then? Like, <laughs> everything was either legal or they didn't know it existed. <laughs> yeah. that, they'd be disappointed if you weren't on cocaine, yeah. That's a <laughs> yeah. fair point. All right. And, uh, well, yeah, that's the end of that round. That's going to leave the scoreboard looking like this. Jono's in the lead with 40 points now, taking ahead of Andre. Andre's uh, not far behind on 38, and Sean is on uh, 28, really feeling this uh, the lack of points from the ponderous puzzle. Uh, but, you know, it's been a, it's been a solid contested run, and, uh, you know, there's still a little bit of time to catch it up. You've got, you know, a pretty guaranteed four points for the, the ponderous puzzle in the next round, and then uh, 10 more points to catch up, so... You know, uh, there's there's still a chance for you to take this out, Sean, and uh, I'm keen to see it happen. But you know, we'll see how it goes. So am I, but uh, you, you know, <laughs> these let's, boys. Let's get a point of puzzle, guys. Yeah, they are good quizzes. These two boys. I, uh, you know, working with them for a few years now, they they really know their stuff. Oh, I know they do. I know they do. I'm very, <laughs> very impressed. Very impressed. Very impressed. All right. Uh, so this is round four. Entertainment. We'll crack straight into it. This still is from what song's music video is what we want to know for this first one. Hello? Hey, man. Hello? Hey, no, hey Sean. It's, Sorry, it's, it's just quiet yeah, for yeah, folks no. to read the No, yeah, you just, 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 just went quiet for a little bit, so... <laughs> No, sorry, I'm just I'm giving people at home a bit of time to chat amongst themselves, chat amongst their teams if they're playing with, but... Yeah. Okay. All right. Should we uh, keep cracking through? I think people want us to uh, keep slamming the slamming out the questions. Does everyone have a guess for that one written down? Mm-hmm. Big old song. It was a bi- big song. Big song. All right. Question number two. This piece of fake news may have been the result of somebody's love affair with what film? Great questions, boys. Really enjoying these. These are good. <laughs> Yeah, well done. Well done, Matty. Well done. Well done, Ben. Proud of you, <laughs> There you go, Sean and... Uh, sorry, Brendan and Matt. Sean's proud of you for this quiz. That he's really liking it. All right, moving on. Question number three. Honor Blackman, who passed away this week, played what Bond girl in 1964? Has to be the most current question in the quiz. Yeah, once again, we were talking about it earlier, how, um, you know, if you can get a get a this week question in it, it's, it's always it looks good. But, um, you know, with, with the live quiz, of course, we can we can get really relevant questions in. But, yeah, are you a, a Bond fan, Sean? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> He's he got to be the greatest fictional character ever created. I'll tell you, Sean, this is my favorite Bond film as well. Okay. Yeah. I yep, think this is my favourite one. I think this one was set up as a bit of a slam dunk for you here, Sean. Oh. <laughs> as a as a big Bond fan. 
Yeah, they, they must have known I'm a big punter. <laughs> All right, moving on to question number four. Pressing this icon would take you into what app? Now, anyone anyone familiar with that icon? Jono, Andre, Sean? No, I'm, de- I'm definitely not. Okay. I haven't I think. done it, but I'm taking an educated guess on what it is. But okay. I have not seen the app, but I'm taking an educated guess. All right. Well, we'll Pretty move sure. on. You, you reckon you, you got it? I think so. I think Brian okay. was talking about it recently. It's the only reason I think it might be it. But... <laughs> Andre, uh, Andre just confirmed it for me. That's nice. All right. Well, we'll move on to question number five. This tagline is for what 1955 film? Really, really bringing the recent stuff here for the audience. This is great. <laughs> yeah, Timely yeah. film. We go current events. You can't get more current than 1955, right? Big year. Yeah, it can only be that. <laughs> the tagline for uh, is, of course, it says uh, dot 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 the bad boy from a good family. Which, if, if that's not going to get you to watch a film, I don't know what is. Jacob Payton in the chat says, uh, Sean Wallace should be the new James Bond. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Sean? Uh, I'll be completely honest, actually. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I'm not half Scottish or half French. <laughs> <laughs> I could see it though. I could see you taking on a uh, taking on Bond. Yeah, I could. I'd love to play James Bond. Who wouldn't? I think it's also going to it's also going to shorten now on Will Hill. It's going to be one of the. Play. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Idris in front of me anyway. Idris, Idris maybe. Yeah. 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 I th- I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes down to between you and Idris in the end, and uh, we'll see who takes it out. <laughs> well, they reckon that um, James Norton uh, and Indus Hank. Sounds a very good chance. Okay. And even talk by by George Lazenby. That's uh, Margot Robbie. Should be called Jane Bond. Who knows? Another Margot one. Robbie is Jane Bond. There you go. Here's the yeah. the James uh, James Bond rumor mill coming in for you guys, direct from Sean Wallace himself. Well, it's from George Lazenby. That's what he basically. Said. Right. Well, yeah. Pretty strong rumors. All right. We'll move on to uh, question number six. This is a. Uh, pretty current one uh what actor is seen here as a russian superhero red guardian in the upcoming marvel film black widow yeah that that's an interesting film because i think I could see it maybe it might end up, you know, uh, either being put on hiatus or being uh, put on Disney plus with the current situation, but who knows, maybe it'll, you know, it's become the next uh, highest selling Marvel film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is interesting with some films being held back, obviously. And yeah. Yeah. And if a few of them have been, you know, put on uh, straight up on uh, Disney plus only like a week or two after they were released. Yeah. Yeah. True. And you got frozen two on there as well. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I just I just want to know what actors under the under the mask there. I, just, I think that's kind of a bit of an Andre question, maybe. How are you feeling about that one, Andre? I know who it is. I can't remember his damn name. Oh. It's driving me insane. <laughs> it's so annoying. Rack the brain, rack the brain, write down the notes. All right, moving on to question number seven. What TV couple lived in this house? I know the answer, but I hope it's not a trick, but I do know the answer. <laughs> There's another family there. And I, can I, un- and I can understand why you're saying that. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can That'd understand why you're saying that. But... That would be cruel. Yeah, that, that, would be, that would be Brendan and Matt sort of pushing things too far. Really. <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't love it if they did that. <laughs> yeah, nor would I. Nor would I. Yeah. I, I, wouldn't, could... speak to about, I wouldn't speak to Brendan for about 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you better hope, Brendan, that it's uh, it's what they're all expecting it to be. Otherwise, uh, Sean's not talking yeah. to you for a little bit. Ten seconds. Hey, um, ten seconds off. Stephen East, Sean just says, "Can you please tell Sean Wallace that he's a great guy from me, Steve?" 
<laughs> oh, see, see. Thanks a lot, mate. Thank you so much for your kind words. So wholesome. It's, it's, yeah, it's been great to have you along, actually. It's been really fun. No, i got to say, the it's chat's been cleaned up. It's reminding me of last week. It's nice. Yeah, it's getting a bit more of that nice, wholesome feel. Uh, here's yeah. question number eight. This image is from a 1989 album by what band? It's terrifying to look at for too long. Yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a full on one, eh? It really it's kind of boggles the mind a bit. Hard to make out any faces in it as well, but if you know the album, I know the faces. So yeah, yeah, I think I think right. I'm the same, Sean. Yeah, I, I think we all know the faces, don't we, guys? Cause... Yeah, and that's kind of where I'm going. <laughs> that's yeah. the only thing I got. So. Yeah. All right. Well, if you reckon you've got it off the faces, we'll move on. Uh, Manny, Greg, and Roderick Heffley are brothers in what book series that has also been adapted into a series of films? International bestseller, it says here on the cover. I worked in Wickles for a while. This is a big, big seller. Yeah, the big book series, this is really, huge, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right. How are you guys feeling on that one? You feeling okay about it? Apparently, yeah. Su Susan DeVoy says hello. Is that true? Sean, do you know who Susan well, DeVoy is? Yeah. You better, didn't you? She's one of my, she's one of my all time heroes, actually. Um, four time World Open Squash Champion. Yeah. Uh, eight time sort of uh, UK Squash Champ. Hi, Susan. That's right. And tell her to say hi to support as well for me as well. Say hi Will to. Will do, Susan. Oh, what was that? Sorry, John? I'll give Paul a ring later. Um, <laughs> Susan DeVoy is a remarkable get. I'm very impressed by it. someone in the chat knowing her. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Uh, all right. Should we move on to the last uh, last question of the quiz, actually? Here we go. All right. The last question of the quiz. Here they are. What TV actor joined the cast of Westworld for the currently airing third season? Is it Jason Bateman... Aaron Paul or Michael C. Hall? And that's the quiz. That's our last question. You know, we'll get to the answers and everything, uh, you know, but that's your last chance for points. I think Sean still actually got one more clue on the ponderous puzzle, which um, yeah, I know, I know what this clue is. I think uh, I would be absolutely shocked to my core if you didn't get it on this one. Uh, so I'll move straight into it. Here's the last quick clue for the ponderous puzzle. It is. This is my husband. Oh, you are joking. <laughs> I, <feel Yeah>. sick. <laughs> I thought it was a wonderfully written ponderous. It's a shame we can't use it in the real world. It's very, very smart, very... eh? Yeah. yeah, it's a good no, yeah, a good no. ponderous puzzle. The boys puzzle. did really well there. Really, very, really very well fun. Uh, I think you would have got it earlier with a few more of the clues. Obviously, we have to cut them down to four. Uh, but yeah, I think I think um, yeah, that one's the bit of the we tend to do the giveaway right at the end. Uh, but yeah, that's the last clue for the ponderous puzzle. I'll show you the answer. Well, actually, I'll show you the answer right now. Uh, in the answers for entertainment, it is of course Melania Trump. Uh, Trump, yeah. yeah, I'm not going to – don't worry about sending me uh, your answers, Sean. Yeah. Your, your reaction yeah. kind of told me everything there. But, uh, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so if you're scoring along at home, if you've got Melania Trump in uh, whichever round, uh, 10 points for the first round, 8 points for the second round, 6 points for the third round, and 4 points for the last round. Speaking of, let's move into the answers for our last round. Here we go. This screenshot is from what song's music video? It is Uptown Funk by Mark Ronson featuring yeah. Bruno Mars. Sean, yeah. you got that one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, big old song, big, big song. Andre, Gigantic, yeah. John, I'm assuming you both and got Mark that. And Mark Ronson, by the way, and Mark Ronson. Uh, yeah, Bruno so Mars and Mark Ronson. It's actually, yeah. interestingly, Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars. Featuring Bruno Mars. Yeah. His real name is Peter Hernandez. Peter Hernandez? Born in Hawaii. Yeah, mm, he right. was, yeah. Wow. I mean, I'm going to be honest, uh, Sean, though I can't give you bonus points, Jono and Andre have really been a, a bit lacking on the extra facts tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the no, it's we're not, not testing on. We don't know anything about it. It's not about, remember, guys, it's not about the extra facts. It's about the correct answers. I'm only, you, you know, you find, uh, 
if I know a bit of extra facts, then I'll obviously give it, because that's what I normally do on a chase. But uh, those guys knew the extra facts anyway, so yeah. I'm just basically being the support act. So <laughs> thank, you for allowing me. thank you for allowing me to do that, guys. Thank you. All right. Anytime. All right, question number two, moving moving straight into it. Uh, this piece of fake news may have been uh, the result of somebody with a love affair, of course, with diehard Nakatomi Pla- uh, uh, Plaza yeah. being the... Well, the, the Christmas f- Eve gave it away, actually, so, yeah. The what gave it away, sorry, Sean? Uh, because it happened on December 24th, Christmas Eve. Ah, oh, right. Um, when Mr. Yeah. John McCain went to go and see his estranged wife, yeah. Yeah. No, great. One of the all-time Christmas films. I, I, it's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite action films. Actually, it's, that was a film that really made Bruce Willis. Because remember beforehand that he was in Moonlight and Moonlighting, yep. uh, you know, singing songs like "Under the Ward Walk" and uh, <laughs> next thing you know, he's yep. an action movie hero. Yeah. What What was his album called? Return of Bruno or something? Yeah. Do you know what his first name is? What's that? Walter. Walter Willis. Walter Willis. Walter Willis. Yeah, that's, his real, that's his real name, Walter. Man, I could just, I, I want to just sit and throw topics at you for like an hour, Sean, and hear just what random <laughs> facts you can, you can throw back at me about them. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't do too badly. Not too badly. No, you're doing, you're doing really not bad at all. You're, it's uh, less than you'd think between you and the boys. I'm assuming Jono and Andre, you yeah. both got that one correct. Uh, yeah, the date didn't give it away, but definitely got it. Nakatomi Plaza. Yep. Yeah. Die hard. Yeah. All right. Well, question number three. Honor Blackman played the Bond girl uh, Pussy Galore in Goldfinger. There, yeah. uh, I like the way you just you just ran through that name. You just <laughs> start yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't pull, remember. Don't look around. It's a family, show. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's a family show. it's a family show. We've been cleaning up the chat all night, and little and lo and behold, we'd be the biggest culprits at the end of it. Uh, I mean, I don't know what we're culprits of, but you know, uh, Andre, did you have that one? I did, yep. Yeah, and John, I'm assuming. Yeah, I did too. That Goldfinger well. is just a masterpiece of a film. So, yep, Pussy Glue. Yeah, one of the greats. Yeah, released in 1964. It was the third in the series. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, very, very good. After Dr. No One from Russia with Love. Yep. <laughs> that was fine. Right. I'm trying. It, duking it out with the extra knowledge yeah. here from. Followed by Thunderbolt. <laughs> from the go. Chaser and, and uh, John O'Neill. Yeah, I like 65. Mm hmm. All right, well, moving on. Question number four. Pressing this icon would take you to Kahoot. Is the name of the app? It's actually a quizzing app. Uh, Andre, oh, John, you both seemed pretty confident on that one. I guess Kahoot, yeah, because yeah. yeah, like I said, kind of Brendan mentioned it the other day. So right, and Jono, did you get that one? Yep, I never legitimised our competitors, but I did know it was Kahoot. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a trash app. I don't know what Keep It Real is talking about in the yeah. chat. It's, uh, <laughs> don't look at it. All your quizzing needs from Believe It or Not thing. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we got Kahoot. Yep, Between Brenna. Believe It or Not and the Chase, you know, what do you what do you need apps for? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to question number five. This tagline is for. I'm going to throw to Sean. Did you Did you have this one? Right, I worked it out. It had to be a James Dean film, and I had to say Rebel Without a Cause. It is, of course, Rebel Without a Cause. There it is on the poster. The bad boy from a good family. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he made three. Uh, he had three films released in that year, uh, and he sadly died on the 30th of September 1955 when he crashed his uh, poor spider into a tree. Ah. His real name was his name was James Byron Dean. That was his real name. James Byron Dean. Yeah, I knew it. the pretty tragic. Was it? He only had two or three films total, wasn't it? Well, two, three, three, three films, and uh, I think. I think um, all three of them, he was nominated uh, posthumously for a Best Actor Oscar. Wow. Yeah. yeah. John, I'm assuming you, you had that one, correct? Yeah, so it wasn't East of Eden or Giant, it was Ribble that, of course. Yeah, and Andre? Yeah. Yeah, it took me an embarrassing amount of time to get him, but <laughs> I got there in the end. Yeah, probably the biggest film of 1955. Right uh, up there. Yeah, we're well, definitely best remembered. All right, what actor is seen yeah. here as Russian superhero Red Guardian in the upcoming Marvel film Black Wind Widow? Uh, Andre, I'm going to throw to you because you seemed you didn't have the actor's name. Did you manage to get it? I think, well, I had Bloody Sheriff from Stranger Things for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's da- Dave Harbour? Uh, Dave Harbour. I'll give you that. It's David Harbour, but yeah, Dave Harbour was, yeah, is, yeah, a, is a fine guess from, of course, uh, plays Hopper in Stranger Things, Sheriff Hopper. Sean, did you have that one? No, nowhere near. Nowhere near. And Jono? 
I sent you the guy who plays Hopper in Stranger Things. So don't accept, <laughs> don't accept that as an answer. That's right, not I'll, correct. I'll give points to Andre for Dave Harbour, but not not Jono for the guy who played Hopper in Stranger Things. Well, he hit the post there. That's called hitting the post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the post yep. Hit the post. post in the quizzing world. All right, question number seven. Oh, well, there it is. David David Harbour played him. Play, well, is playing him when it releases. What TV couple lived in this house? Sean, you'll be talking to Brendan because uh, it's just Fred and Wilma Flintstone. No curveballs yeah, there. Yeah, because yeah, obviously, yeah, if Fred and was the rubble, then I would have spoken to Brendan for about 10 seconds. But, uh, <laughs> I went Fred in there. Yeah, I think the big giveaway there was that um, I think in the original photo, you could see a little bit of their car parked in the driveway there. Yeah. 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 I'm assuming, Jono and Andre, you got that correct? Yep. Flintstones, cool. yep. Yeah, well, I really wanted to go with Rubbles, but I'm pretty sure Hannah Barber is just like too lazy to draw different houses anyway. So, <laughs> that'll be a fun You're probably right there, yeah. That's, All right. that's cold. That's cold, though. That's cold. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. hey, you know, these guys score the high points. They've got to be cold and calculated sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. <laughs> All right, moving on. Question number eight. This image is from a 1989 album by Queen called The Miracle. Sean, did you have Queen? Yeah, yeah, John Deacon, Roger Taylor, the great Freddie Mercury, and uh, Brian May. Yeah, and uh, John o, Andre, Queen? I had Queen by some miracle. I'm no good at music at all, but I had it. I had Queen because of, yeah, as Sean was saying, you can sort of tell. I didn't know the album cover for The Miracle. Right. No, I had no yes. idea what the album was at all, but their faces well, were just... Freddie Mercury is a giveaway in that one. Yes, Easy. exactly, yeah. And you can, you can see enough of, yeah... Deacon yeah. in there, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So points hey, all around. Your name, by the way, Freddie Mercury. Do you want to know his real name? Oh, t- uh, I bet Arul you're going to tell Bul- us. <laughs> Arul Bulsara, born the 5th of September 1946 in Zanzibar. Yep. Zanzibar, I knew. That's a classic quiz question, though. What continent was he born on? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's an all-timer. Uh, okay, well, should we move on? Question number nine. Get a round and out. Manny, Greg, and Roderick. Are uh, the brothers in the series Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Jono, you yeah, were saying I've got that, that Jeff Kenny. Yeah, were... yep. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, big, big book series when I worked at Wickles many All years right. ago. And Andre, did you have that one? I did indeed. Worked in libraries for years. Shout out to Auckland Libraries. <laughs> shout out, shout out to Auckland Libraries. I think actually, um, I was reading somewhere that Auckland Libraries a lot of their catalogue is available online at the moment. If if you're at home and wanting to read a book, there's um. The libraries have some stuff that you can actually just read on your on your phone or your computer. So, if you're looking for a book to read, get amongst. Uh, Beautiful shout out. The best shout out. I, I could be wrong, but <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I hope I'm not. <laughs> Got oddly educational and earnest there for a second. That was, that was weird. Well, uh, you know, we try. We we do what we can. Uh, and the last question of the quiz: What TV actor joined the cast of Westworld for the current season? Uh, Sean, did you have a guess for us on this one? I said Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. Andre? I went Aaron Paul. All right. And Jono? I went Aaron Paul. Yep. Jason Bateman's on Ozark right now. Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad is now doing Westworld. It is, of course, Aaron Paul, yeah, from Breaking Bad, who uh, was doing them. Jason Bateman, Arrested Development, famously. Aaron Paul, uh, Breaking Bad. And Michael C. Hall is from Dexter, who plays Dexter himself. But yeah, Aaron Paul is the guy who's on Westworld in the current season. Which is going to bring our quiz to a finish. Uh, I'll say sorting the winners out, but I can show you right now. I've got the points right here. Uh, let's bring them up. It's going to be another week of winning for Jono, who takes the quiz out with 49 <laughs> points. A big well done, 49 bro. for Jono. Huge show from him. Andre, really not far behind on 48. One I point be between and, I would be lame and just blame that round that I didn't pay attention to. So that's that's yeah. Andre, uh, with one eye on the chat, uh, managed to come in one point behind Jono and Sean. Really not far behind. The ponderous puzzle was what hurt him a little bit. I think there, Sean, with a big thirty-nine as well. That's not too bad, actually. You know what? I'm going to have nightmares about Melania Trump. I'm going to have nightmares. <laughs> but I was pleased that I got ten out of ten. For the chemical uh, question round, I was really pleased about that. Yeah. yeah, that was really impressive. Yeah. Actually, I thought the big ten out of ten was huge, huge plays. Yeah, no, it wasn't too bad actually. Can I simply say, Jake, uh, Jono, Andre, and the rest of uh, the New Zealand public and people listening around the world, 
I am so honoured to actually be part of this uh, online quiz. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I'm really pleased that uh, a lot of people tuned in this week. I hope a lot of people tune in next week. Can we say a big thank you to Matt and also to my main man, Brendan, for uh, a wonderful set of questions. And I just hope everybody stays safe. And I hope to see you soon uh, at the big, um, end of the year. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, it's been such an honour to have you, Sean. Thanks for coming and play. I'm sure we'll have you back uh, really soon and uh, get you on this again if we if we do it. Well, I think you should do it from now on. Actually, to go alongside your main quizzes because I'm, I'm sure Pete, I'm sure there's going to be an appetite for online quizzes now. So uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to develop it further, and um, you know, because you are the premier quiz uh, company in New Zealand, if not the world. So fantastic <laughs> world. If not the world, that's huge praise. Thank you so much, Sean. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, uh, and, uh, great hosting, great hosting there, Jake. Super hosting there, brilliant. Oh, thank well you done. so much, Sean. Uh, would you guys like to do the the tiebreaker just for funsies? Just yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah just in case people are only yeah, it's a, it's a Matt special on the tiebreaker. The Guinness World Record for the longest male plank, which is the time in the plank position, was broken in February by 62-year-old retired U.S. Marine George Hood. What I want to know is, what is the new record? Now, we don't have any um, actual uh, ties to Seoul, so I won't get you to send them to me in privately. But if you have a quick think, and then I'll, uh, I'll go from, uh, we'll start with Sean in, uh, you know, last place, but last of three is, isn't too bad. Sean, do you have a have a hunch or a guess for me? Yeah, I'll say um, seven minutes, 42 seconds. Seven minutes, 42 seconds. All right. And uh, Andre, do you have a guess for me? I, I was going to go like 15 minutes, but <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, I'll go with that. 15 minutes? I feel like hours is ages, but I know nothing about planking, so I might be the world's dumbest man. And Jono, do you have a guess for me? I was going to go hours looking at that Marine. Um, I, yeah, it should be really. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Like, it's, I was uh, going to say about 10 hours. Yeah, 10. I, I could do a 15-minute plank. Now yeah, of course that. you could. Right? <laughs> I was going to say it's ludicrous. Yeah. So a bad job by me. That's so, uh, point. John is saying, what, 10 hours? 10 hours, yeah. Andre with uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm on the lower end of the <laughs> And Sean with 7 minutes? 7 minutes, 42 seconds. 7 minutes, 42 seconds. I can tell you the time that he uh, did was 8 hours, 15 yeah. minutes, and 15 seconds, which is incredible planking for that yeah. long. Yeah, fantastic. Next week, the three of us will do a plank off. That's what we got to do. <laughs> don't. Okay, don't. I, I, I think Sean might take us in that. Oh, he'd, he'd annihilate it. He was like <laughs> talking about his home gym routine this, just before we started. Yeah, well, the minute I log off here, I'm, I'm going to go straight to an hour's worth of training. Oh, look at that. Yeah. What do they say, Jono? Don't be writing checks you, uh, you're not willing to cash. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. we might hold you to it. All right. Well, um, hey, thanks so much for coming, Sean. It's been such a, a great privilege to have you on with us. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much, yeah. uh, Thanks again Thank to you. Jono and Andre for competing as well, some of the writers. Uh, this is a good time. Yeah, I want to say there were a ton of lovely messages in the chat. Uh, we will be sending them through to Sean if, in case he missed them. Uh, thank you all for watching. He is very grateful um, to all of you for watching as well. And also thank you to our hard-working, lovely moderator, um, big help. Yeah, super, super helpful to have the moderate, moderator this week. Thanks for the to the New Zealand Herald for um, for uh, re reblogging us, reposting us, so that everyone can follow along there. Now, um, Sean, do uh, what's the best place for everyone who uh, likes you and loves you and loves your work to follow you along online? Where can where can we check you out? Um, I, I, I'm not really good on. Um things like social media, but I, tweet, tweet me uh, at the Sean Wallace. You can always get hold of me that way. Always, right. And I'll always respond. There you go. At, I'll Sean, at Sean Wallace on Twitter. At the, at, at the Sean Wallace, yeah. At the Sean Wallace on Twitter. He'll always respond no matter what. And uh, Jono, where's the best place to get you? Is it still tin Tinder like last week? Tinder, Bumble. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Elliot Smith, Riggsy, Stables, Whitford, with my dad host, Bosons, Mike Quiz, Catherine Jennings, Imogen Staines, Matt Connolly, Jess from Latrobe, Pennsylvania, Matt Ansley, Brendan Lockett, Sean Wallace, Andre Kosovac, Jake Love, <laughs> David Letterman, Gated Community, my grandmother, the Heatley family. <laughs> and Andre, where's the best place for people to follow you or are you uh, keeping private? 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm more more reserved. Just yeah. just go to just go to one of our pub quizzes when they're back. Hey, yeah, that'd yeah, be yeah. helpful. Yeah. yeah, and you can follow. Uh, I'm best on Instagram mm. if you want. It's Jake Loves Yeah, if you want to follow me. Uh, thanks so much for coming and watching. It was a, a lot of fun. Follow, believe it or not, if you want to catch more of these live quizzes uh, on Facebook, YouTube is uh, the two places where we're most active, and we'll have more live quizzes. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get Sean back and have a few more special guests. Uh, but yeah, Sean, it was great fun having you. Thanks so much for playing. Cheers, Jake. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Alan. Cheers, Cheers John. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, Thanks, see, we'll Thanks, see, you, um, see you next time. Thanks for playing. See you later, New Zealand. Thanks for oh. thanks for coming to watch. Bye bye. Yeah, thank you. Bye. <laughs>